Welcome, everyone. Hi, I'm Keith Vitale, and welcome to Psychic Podcast. As a matter of fact, welcome to my living room. It's Christmas time, and I'm very excited uh, to tell you about my experience working with the great Benny the Jet, Benny Urquidez, during the filming of Wheels on Mills that starred Jackie Chan, Samo Hung, as well as Jung Bao. We had a phenomenal time. We enjoyed working with them, but we had a lot, a lot of downtime. During this production, we were in Barcelona, Spain. It was a wonderful time. And so I was rated at the time as the number one fighter in the country for sport karate, point karate. I was also a full contact fighter, and I was like 6 0 at the time. We were, I'm a lightweight. Benny Akitas is a lightweight. Benny's record is 60 and 0 as a full contact fighter. I know one day we might be matched up and have to fight in the ring. So, Benny, invited me to go to the gym, the local gym in Barcelona, and work out, I loved it. So we went there and put our gear on, and we started training and throwing techniques. And Benny says, well, let's just, let's go at it. Let's move a little bit. So we started moving around. And again, this is the time at the apex of my career. You know, Benny probably hasn't fought in a year or two, but I, I'm probably in the best shape of my life. So I'm handling Benny pretty easily, but that's what I do. Now, I'm hitting them, punching them, kicking them. I'm throwing techniques. And I remember just really hitting them at will. And finally, I hit him. You could tell why I needed to stand up for this. I hit him with a back leg round kick flush into the nose. My foot was throbbing. Benny didn't even act like I hit him. So I go, well, what are you doing? I said, I couldn't believe it. I said, you don't feel pain. And he goes, no, I don't feel pain. He has these cool magnet fit. Features that he laughs about all the time. He has his native Indian heritage or whatever, but literally, he, I don't think the man feels pain. Toughest man I've ever fought in my life. So we spoke a little bit, and um, he says, Are you ready to fight now? I literally said these words. I said, Benny, I'm the only one fighting. He smiled. We started moving around again. And I remember throwing a technique. It was the most beautifully executed counter move he countered hit me with a full power round kick to my inner thigh my legs now as a pka fighter back in the day we only fought kicks above the belt we never fought kicking to the legs benny's an international fighter he fights all over the world in japan and wherever but he's used to kicking full body and i'm not so when he hit me in the legs immediately my tear drops came out of my eyes and i went oh my gosh and i put my hands like this and I said, time out. Benny goes, you can't say time out. And I smiled and I went, I just did. Time out. He goes, Keith, you're not allowed to say time out. I went, not only did I say time out, if you ever hit me in the legs like that again, I'll take a pencil, I'll stab you right in your eyes. I was hoping he understood the levity that I was joking. And he did and he giggled and he laughed. And then he made a lot of sense. He made an observation. He goes, I realize you don't fight kicking below the belt. He says, but you can't train in that fashion. You can't have somebody on the street attack you and you go, excuse me, these were the rules. You have to be able to defend against all, all attacks. He says, somebody walks into your karate studio, your dojo, whatever. You can't say, I don't want you kicking me below the belt. So that made so much sense. He goes, even if you don't want to train kicking low, at least train learning how to block someone who's kicking you low. So he taught me all these techniques and how to block elbow to the knees. And I loved every second of it. I loved it so much. And we trained and we trained together. And then he said, well, let's do this. Let's travel a little bit because we have so much downtime. Let's visit other schools in Spain and France. And let's, let's fight some of them. I'd like to see you do your leg kicks. And he goes, fight three or four of them but always save the best one for me. So we go into the schools, and at that time, I was on a lot of covers. Probably Benny's on more covers than me. I was on like 13 different martial arts covers in that one year. So they, we were pretty well known because these magazines go all over the world. We go in these schools, and they get excited. And we, you know, I'd ask if they didn't mind if we work out with some of them. So I'd get in the ring, and I'd fight three or four people. And I'd kick to the legs, but I was always careful not to hurt anybody. You know, I've always had that that ability. I move around because I was I was moving at a time. I was so blessed to fight at a time that most fighters were standstill fighters. 
and I was one of the first fighters on a planet to incorporate movement. I didn't make it up. I had Joe Lewis tra train me how to do this. So I would fight these fighters, but every time Benny then would fight the school owner or the best fighter, every single time Benny or Keith just knocked them out with left hooks. Every time. And then we'd leave. I'd be apologizing for what happened. And Benny would be giggling. He thought it was hilarious. He loved it. We'd go to another school. We did this over and over. But he was always knocking somebody out. It, it, it was incredible. We even had one time we were working out at the gym in Barcelona. And a Kung Fu world champion came in, wanted to work out with us. I went for, you know, a couple rounds with him. And again, I'm having no trouble because I'm pretty well known for my kicks. And so I'm kicking all over the place and side kicking them. I'm handling them. Benny doesn't take. 30 seconds, hits him in the left hook and knocks him out. And that's the life story, that's how Benny is. I just feel so fortunate I had an opportunity to train with him because I'm so glad after this time, I dedicated myself to sport karate only. I got away from the full contact world because Benny Yukitas is the toughest guy I had ever spent any time with. And I had the highest respect for him. So we had a great time working together. We're great friends. And there's no better people on this planet to work with than Yong Bao and Samuel Hung as, and Jackie Chan. They were great guys. Listen, I hope you enjoyed the story. And if you did, like it, uh, share it, and subscribe. And uh, check out my other episodes. Until then, ciao.